Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just used the I just used the Hey Honey Thick and Treat Concealer. This is the first time I'm using it, so I don't know how good it is. And I used the L'Oreal setting powder. And now I'm just going in with my Milani eyebrow pencil hope you guys are staying safe out there let me know if you guys like If you guys like this camera, this one is being shot on my phone. Or if you liked previous videos, some of them are being shot on my phone, my iPad, and a camera. Like an actual, like professional camera. I have a professional camera. I just it takes a while to set up and stuff and to get the right angles. So now I'm just brushing out the product because I don't want it to be too harsh in the front. So now I'm just going to take my NYX Eyebrow Shaper and just put a little bit over. Usually I do this step first before I fill in my brows. And then I'm just going to brush that out and make sure the product spreads evenly. There we go. So today I'm going to be using the Auto Bomb Pick Perf Shadows on the Go. I got this um, through my Ipsy subscription. And it looks like this. It's just a little palette. It's got this pinky red, green, silver, dark brown, this shimmery highlight. It's like a icy white. We got this neutral primer, St. Charles, which is a pinky brown, and then a dark gray. So let's see what we can come up with. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like there's a very neutral palette. It seems very odd with the colors. But anyways, let's go in with the neutral primer. seems kind of chalky like it doesn't want to pick up on my brush It 
So I just picked up this one, but it doesn't look like anything when I put it on my lid. Maybe some kind of light brown pigment, but definitely not as pigmented as in the pan. So I just stuck that in my eye crease and I'm just blending it out. And I used a Inser Full Fluff 282 to blend that out. Okay. Now I'm picking up the C412 Deluxe Pointed uh, crease from Crown Brushes. And I'm going to take St. Charles. Okay, St. Charles seems to have a lot of fallout. St. Charles. And I'm just going to take that and focus that more so at the outer corner of my eye. Today we're just going for a more natural look. Let me know if you guys like me doing more natural looks, more edgy looks, or if you want me to do more of a glam look. Okay, um, it does look like it's blending out, this one just is a little harder to blend out more smoothly I guess, and looks a little chalky too. Okay, now I'm going to take And I'm going to take the crown brush, the Shadow Crease Duo AC012. I'm just going to use this side. And I'm going to go in and dip in in Rodeo. Which is this color right here. And I'm just going to Pack it on my lid. I'm just going to blend it out. So 
So in the pan, it looks very shimmery, very like a highlight color. But when I place it on my lid, there's a slight translucent shimmer to it. It mostly comes out as a white translucent color. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's not one of my favorites. I don't know, guys. So, I'm going to see if maybe... I'm going to use my Gigi Gorgeous. This is a bronzing palette. And I'm going to take the lighter shade in here. This one. And I'm going to see maybe if that's going to help the translucent shimmer color because this is just awful. There we go, it, it does seem to be helping. And I'm just packing that on my lid, trying to cover up that weird white shimmery color from the other palette. I'm just going to take a little bit of that bronzer color and put it right under my brow. There we go. And I'm going to take a little of the dark color and put it under my eye. Now, I'm going to take this new liner that I got, again from my subscription Ipsy bag. You know, I, I really think some bags of Ipsy's are hit and miss. Sometimes I'll find really cool stuff and, you know, a lot of stuff that I can actually use, and then other times it's just... The products are, sometimes the products are really like low quality or like, I think maybe like one of these sample sizes, even though I have the, I want to say deluxe, the big one. Okay, so this eyeliner is called Luna Liner. It's a water-resistant liquid liner. And I'm guessing it's black because it doesn't say on here what color it is. Hopefully it's black. Yeah. So I'm just going to...
so far it looks like it's doing pretty good. It's not bad. I'm going to give that a second or two to dry. And I'm going to curl my lashes. Now I'm just going to take my mascara. I'm using the Tresique in black. And I just like to rock it back and forth through my lashes. And then just get the very tips of my lashes. Now, if you want a more natural look, I would stop there. But, since it's me, and I'm a little extra, I'm gonna get my white liner. I'm gonna put it in my waterline. Also, I'm going to take highlighter. Oops. Sorry, guys. So, the highlighter I'm using is the Space Case Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see that. It's in Scene from Space 1B. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that in my inner corner. And 
don't know if you guys can see that shimmer. It's really pretty though. Okay. Now if you just wanted a little something extra, you could stop there. We are going to take my magnetic liner. And just put a little bit on top of my already liner that I have down. And we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna pop up pop on some lashes. I just realized <laughs> I was picking up the wrong eyelashes. Look how easy that was, guys. Literally just put my eyeliner down and then pop down my lashes. And there you have it. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And let me know in the comments down below if you liked this more simple look or if you wanted me to add a little something extra or maybe an idea for my next video. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to be kind to each other out there. In a world that's so crazy right now, please remember to be kind. Anyways, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!